Manhunt deals with two major themes in War and Loss. A man here has returned from war and has been very physically damaged by the war and mentally damaged by the war as well. Consequently, his, his wife um, is struggling to find the man that she married, find the man that she loved. Hence the poem's name, Manhunt. So this poem itself is, is an excellent poem um, to look at when reflecting on the idea of losing that sense of self or the idea of PTSD, which is post-traumatic stress. There's also a fantastic poem to look at when considering war and the impacts on war on innocent people. There's a wonderful link at the bottom of the screen for a YouTube video in which Laura, the soldier's wife, recites the poem written by Simon Armitage. It is a fantastic way into the poem and it is also a very emotional, poignant way of first experience in the poem. It is maybe important to realise that the poet Simon Armitage has never actually been to war himself, but has witnessed the devastating impact that war has had on many people, such as the person in this poem, both the wife and the husband, that has been damaged by war. In terms of looking at this poem, telling the story of this poem, these are the key areas that you really, really want to get at. You've got a soldier returning with PTSD, post-traumatic stress disorder. He's been damaged physically in the war, but he's also been damaged mentally in the war as well. The poem is from the wife's perspective. She's trying to help him overcome his terrible wounds. She's trying to find him again, find the man that she fell in love with, find the man that she married. But she's struggling to help him. And Simon Armitage is, is very good at at sort of painting this picture of how difficult it is for somebody to come back from such devastating experiences. Okay, these are your three key quotations for Manhunt. Um, you learn these three key quotations you learn the analysis that goes with these three key quotations, and you should very easily be able to tell the story of Manhunt in your examination. So the first quotation, only then would he let me trace the frozen river which ran through his face. It's near the beginning of the poem. It's obviously showing um, affection because the wife is actually tracing um, the wounds on his face, touching the wounds on his face. Um, Looking at words like only then, there seems to be an element of taking it step by step, that the man's healing process, that the, the healing of their relationship is a slow process. OK, and you have to do it step by step, almost like climbing a ladder. Then the idea of the frozen river is quite an interesting one, too, because it could refer to different ideas. It could refer to a tear running down his face to show his sadness and emotion. It could also refer to the scar on his face, which again links to the physical damage that has been done to him during the war. And I think as well, you know, he needs to be able to communicate with his wife who's communicating with him. And is he going to be able to communicate clearly with so much damage to his face? So there's this idea that Maybe they cannot communicate with each other as clearly as maybe they once would. The next quotation, sweating on exploding mind buried deep in his mind, is of course a direct reference to the PTSD, the post-traumatic stress disorder and his vulnerability. It suggests that he could be damaged further unless she's really gentle with him. Now, I think also the, the idea as well of this mind, it's almost a volata volatile thing, sorry. So, a mind can explode, a mind can, call, a mind can cause devastating um, damage. So I think this idea that if he does explode, if, if this part of him does sort of 
go off the rails, then he could not only damage himself, but he could damage other people, maybe even his wife, due to his quick explosive anger. And then the final quotation comes from the very last line. In fact, it is the very last line. And it, it's a very hopeful line because it suggests that she's been through this process. She's climbing this ladder of, um, of the healing process, helping him, you know, showing him affection, trying to pull the man that she once loved back to uh, the front of this, this, this person in front of her. And it ends with hope because she comes close. So it is healing. It will eventually heal. And I think that's the idea of the poem. This is this idea that, yes, it's devastating. Yes, the damage is, is, is dreadful. Um, but with, with love, with closeness, closeness sorry, then, then that loss can be healed. OK, well done. You've reached the end of the recording. These are your three keywords which will allow you to learn your quotations. And I would spend some time now trying to learn those quotations, writing them down, making notes around those quotations, thinking about how those quotations link into the story of Manhunt. So use your five W's to tell the story of Manhunt, link your key quotations into the story of Manhunt and um, that will be really, really important because you can be moving forward.